A dummy which mimics real-life medical conditions is being used to teach youngsters in the West Midlands about the dangers of violent crime. Stan breathes, groans and gradually loses consciousness. Today he was in Birmingham as part of a campaign to make teenagers think twice about carrying a knife. Holly Lewis reports. Convulsing as the blood pressure in his brain soars, Stan is the centrepiece of a hard-hitting presentation about the dangers of knife crime. The £50,000 human simulator is hooked up to a computer to show exactly how the body reacts to a stab wound. Stop talking now. This is a point where the ambulance were here. Be trouble. You can't ask them what's wrong, where it hurts. The scenario is, is that Stan has been stabbed somewhere here underneath his ribs and you can actually feel a pulse underneath his knee and hear his heart sounds as his life very quickly ebbs away. The teenage audience from Colmore School in Northfield said knives are a concern. Some people are sometimes like pushed into carrying knives so like they're scared and unsure about what's going to happen if they don't carry a knife. Most people may be a bit worried because people may carry knives at school or when they're out of school with friends. The number of teenagers in the West Midlands caught in possession of a knife is falling. In the year 2006 to 7, 197 under 18s were arrested. In 2009 to 10, it was 99 and last year, 63. I think the statistics are going down mainly because of the education. Uh, these sort of inputs are crucial. It's getting into the schools early on, it's getting into the, the groups uh, and the gangs and splitting that up and giving them the reality behind those decisions. The police hope Stan's imaginary demise will ultimately save lives. Holly Lewis, BBC Midlands Today, Northfield.